Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Nowadays I'm exploring all the features of the Salty Simulations Boeing 747 and I'm making videos for that. And so far I think I've done a few videos on this uh, plane which includes uh, uh, how to configure the FMC, the startup procedures, autopilot, ILS approach and landing, descent management and this video is going to be a short one for the beginners who actually face a flight discontinuity in the flight plan. I'm breaking up these videos into different parts because mostly the people are searching for, for, for specific topics on the internet. So it's uh, better to make um, uh, different videos and split them into different parts so that people can search for it. So that's why I'm making this video. It's going to be a short one and I will be making a flight plan and I will show you how to fix the discontinuity issue. Right now I'm parked at Jinnah International Airport which is in Karachi. And I will be making a flight plan to Islamabad International Airport. So let's go here and let's start with the with the flight planning. Uh, so what I'll do is this. I will first enter uh, the departure airport. And I will also give the destination airport OPIS. And with this, I think let's also check one more thing. If you go to initialization option. Um, okay. And... Uh, positioning let's do this as well uh, this is actually covered in the fmc programming part at the video if you are not familiar with this you can just go and watch that so i'm just going to also enter the reference airport for the takeoff and that's it now coming back to the to the um, route option i will not start entering uh, the flight plan but before this i have to select the departure airport and the departure runway and the departure will be from 7 right and badu 3b uh, will be the set for the departure. Now we'll I will come back over here and you will see that the Badu 3B and uh, Badu, uh, the, this waypoint has been updated and this is actually the standard instrument departure, the procedure to fly out of uh, the Jinnah International Airport uh, runway 7 right. Now I will start entering uh, the waypoints and uh, the airways. The, the, the first airway is J112 which will take me to NH which is a VOR Nawabsha VOR. So let's enter this. NH. Uh, let's try again. And this is uh, the VOR over here. So you can select this. And uh, the second area is Z301. And it will be to Belco. So it will be B E. L K O. So if you don't know how to make a flight plan and uh, how to configure the FMC, uh, it's better to watch uh, my video how to configure the FMC and the discontinuity issue is also, um, I think, discussed in that video as well. So you, you can just go and watch it. Okay, so um, now I've made the flight plan. All I have to do is this. I have to select the arrival and the arrival will be 28 right. Y is to and Belk 1C. Actually, I know this because <laughs> I've been flying a lot on this uh, route. So that's why I know all this thing. So in order to check your flight plan for any discontinuity, just press this option legs. And over here, if there is any discontinuity, it will come. So let's go and see. Over here, you can see that there is discontinuity coming over here and after Belco. And if I go here in the navigation display and if I zoom out, and if I change it to plan, right now the it was set to map. As you can see, this pointer is towards the map. So if I move this knob, it will go to the plan. So over here, you can cycle through the flight plan. Right now, as you can see on top of the screen, it's L-E-B-I-B. -E and after this, it's O-L-V-I-B. If I press next page, then you will see it's a discontinuity. So this is the final approach and this is the runway. And uh, after... Uh, Belco, there is a discontinuity. So if uh, you uh, fly the plane and do the flight with this, um, the plane will keep on str uh, flying straight in a straight line and, uh, and, and it will not follow the flight plan. So all you have to do is just delete the discontinuity. It's very simple to do it. Uh, on the FMC, you will see this button delete. Just press this button delete and then um, press this left soft key, the fourth uh, left soft key or the soft key which is adjacent to this discontinuity just press it and this discontinuity will be deleted and then you can press execute 
and now if I scroll through the flight plan, you will see now the line is connected and there is no issue. So this is how you delete the flight discontinuity in the Salty Simulations Boeing 747 or the Boeing 747, which is the default plane with the Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you have got any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. I will try to answer your questions in time. But if there is a delay, kindly excuse me for this because I have a busy schedule at times. I just um, can't get enough time to answer your questions. And plus, if you've got any comments, any feedback regarding this video, the comment section is there for you. With this, I would just like to end my video. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.